Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lexa Taro and I am a second degree certified Reiki practitioner as well as an intuitive tarot and oracle reader. I want to start off by saying thank you to each and every one of my subscribers for sharing my channel with others, for tuning in several times a week when I post new content, but most of all for your support. For those of you that are visiting for the first time, welcome. I hope that you find this Scorpio General Life Messages reading insightful, where I'll be taking a look um, at or channeling the energies of your past, recent past, present energy, and what energy is coming your way, as well as advice. Okay, now this is a general reading. If you're interested in a private one to one reading, just check down below in the description box. All my information is there. Please note, I do not reach out to potential clients. So if anyone is reaching out to you saying they are me, it is not true. Okay. That being said, Scorpio, let's take a look here at what was your past or recent past. Wow. So one is already coming up, which is balance past or, re uh, past or recent past uh, energy. Okay. So for those of you that are visiting for the first time, welcome again. And my uh, readings tend to be a little lengthy at times. So my suggestion is um, if you can't watch this entire um, segment in one shot, uh, feel free to look down below in the description box where I have time stamped the past present and the energy that's coming in as well as the advice okay so scorpio i see here that you have the balance card in your past or recent past okay i feel this one wants to come out so we'll do that and one more from the back and transformation okay all right so i feel here scorpio that there was a um a significant change or a significant rebirth in your past or recent past with this transformation, okay? I feel that this energy was not very comfortable. Um, there was This was an energy of having to really reassess maybe your perspective in the past, how you thought in the past, what, you know, how you viewed things and perspective is what I'm feeling. I'm feeling here with the transformation card that you put an end to uh, things that no longer served you or that perhaps you may have had an unexpected tower moment that created this sense of transformation and rebirth for you. I feel here in your past or recent past Scorpio that there was a um, either a need or a want or an energy of balance around you or trying to balance things around you. Okay, trying to balance perhaps your job uh, aspect, your financial aspect, your emotional aspect, or your thoughts and communication here. I feel it was either, no, some of you were balanced, okay? And it's because of this rebirth. Others of you were going through this sense of transformation while still trying to balance those aspects. It was like a new beginning, a new rebirth to look at those areas in your life in your past and recent past and um, balance those energies that seemed a little bit um, off kilter. Here with the three of rejoice and celebration, I, I feel here in your past or recent past, Scorpio, that there may have been friends uh, or friendships you hung on to, okay? Or people that you felt very close to while you were going through your sense of transformation. Now, whether this was your support system, whether it was your family, friends, loved ones, partner, okay? Or whether this was just um, you reaching out, okay? Trying uh, your best to uh, make light of this transformation by, for example, trying to reach out to uh, to your friends or to your family or to your um, colleagues, okay, trying to, uh, you know, see each other, go out, um, have a drink, or just talk about old times that were either happier or either were more fulfilling than perhaps the energy that you were feeling here during this transition. Let's take a look here, Scorpio, what other messages or details?
past or recent past. Let's take a look here. Yep, so you have a fiery climax approaches and that makes sense. There was a period here in your past or recent past, like I said, with this transformation card that was a little bit heavy. And so this card here, a fiery uh, climax approaches, which is the full moon in Aries, is that there was this energy of either a tug of war, um, energetically speaking, as you were trying to balance those things perhaps in your life that seemed a little bit unbalanced at that moment in time due to the change, due to the transition that you were going through. I feel here that a lot of you here were um, putting on a brave face is what I'm hearing. Um, I'm also feeling here this sense of perseverance with this ram. Aries is a fiery energy. It's it's one of tenacity and determination of trying to move past any obstacles or challenges. Okay, I'm seeing in my mind's eye the ram on the mountain. So it's like, um, even though it may have taken a while to, or it may have been a struggle to get to the top of that mountain, or to feel like you you know you're on your way to the top of that mountain. Um, it's saying here that there was a sense of trying to push forward through whatever obstacles and challenges this energy of transformation and rebirth was um, pretty much having in your life whether that be in your love life career or finances but through this sense of transformation through the sense of rebirth uh, Scorpio I feel here that you went through a powerful change okay with this card that says expect powerful change new moon eclipse it was like through that hardship okay through that bleak moment of transformation and it's interesting because this um card is um has a lot of dark background and it's what i'm feeling here energetically with this card that that sense of transformation that sense of rebirth that uncomfortable feeling right behind that there's a lot of light especially this little peak of light that's um, coming in here in the corner so I feel here that there was this either a new opening a new portal a new direction that this transformation or sense of rebirth okay uh, created in your past or recent past let's take a look here at what other details i can channel for you all right so here you have the queen of cups followed by the ace of swords and the ten of pentacles so i feel here well i let me just bring this one up as well and be close to, to, to pull this one also which is the four of cups so i feel here that many of you were trying to embody the queen of cups energy you were trying to feel your way through the situation you were trying to make sense of your emotions you were trying to also tap in intuitively to this aspect of your life that was going through a sense of rebirth and change whether that be your love career or finances i feel here that on the outside you were trying to keep um a calm demeanor okay regardless of how much the water you see the water underneath her is moving but she's trying to still keep focus so I feel here that this is the energy of your past or recent past. Despite what was going on around you at that specific point in time, Scorpio, it's like you were focused. You were focused on looking calm, staying calm. Maybe inside you had a, a lot of emotions. Maybe inside you had a lot of uh, this uh, churning of water or emotions or feelings inside of you but on the outside it's this straight focus right that you were trying to give off focus because you were trying to have a breakthrough of clarity here whether it is breakthrough in communication or a new beginning in seeing things in a different way seeing things in a way where you are prosperous and that you are stable here in the ten of pentacles now this 
th these three cards are behind, right, this four of cups, all right? And I feel that I was called to pull out this four of cups for this reason. All of this is positive, right? But I feel here in your past or recent past, you had a feeling of discontent, okay? You had a feeling of not being satisfied by things in that present moment in time. And I feel here that all this positivity from embodying the energy of the, uh, the, the Queen of Cups, uh, the Ace of Swords, and the Ten of Pentacles, this was the universe in a way giving you an opportunity remember i told you here that there was a peak okay there's a peak of clarity coming in here in your past or recent past okay this portal this new opening but i feel that some of you were very distracted by feeling by your feelings of dissatisfaction by your feeling of thinking or feeling that things weren't moving along or that this uh, perhaps in the past or recent past where you had a tower moment that created this transformation that created this rebirth for you okay so let's take a look here at what is your current energy what is Scorpio's current energy all right so we have rest and rejuvenation reverse we have new beginnings reversed and we have sacrifice in reverse okay so what i'm feeling here is um in the present moment you are in a way still some of you are resisting an ongoing or a current change that is happening now i don't know if this is connected to your past or recent past but some of you are having um a, a moment here where you're resisting this change or you're resisting this um, delay okay that may be happening okay it's in a way you're resisting you're resisting surrendering to a process here of having to pause something of importance to you whether that be love career or romance i feel that because it came in reverse here and actually all these three cards are in reverse as i feel that some of you are going through a sense of a burnout session here you may be experiencing a little bit of burn of being burnt out here because you have the four of rest and reju rejuvenation in reverse okay usually when the card is like this upright it's talking about taking a mental break because yours came in in reverse i feel here that you are still thinking about something you're still thinking and those thoughts are in a way not only trapping you okay in that mode of just thinking so much that you may be burning yourself out but also here i feel that it may be holding you back from a new beginning that could be emerging here for you at the present time now remember this is a general reading this might not be for everyone okay but i do feel that some of you are in a way trying to fight this energy okay that's coming in to, or that is currently or coming into your uh, present moment and you know right now let's take a look at what other details i can pick up for you here nothing will come of this situation void of course moon all right so what i feel here is that as long as you resist the change as long as you resist um taking a moment for yourself and gathering your thoughts reflecting contemplating and putting to rest all your worries or um, this energy of thinking a lot about a specific situation um, things are not going to be able to move along as quickly as you would like okay because here this new beginning is reversed so it's in a way holding back this energy from starting in this new beginning i feel some of you here um are it's not that you're blocking it but you're afraid to make this move you're afraid 
to take a leap forward okay and i feel here for some of you it's a fear rather than a situation okay so for some of you i feel there is this energy that is not um you know that you are being burnt out because you have a lot of thoughts and fears in your mind and you're not allowing yourself to surrender to uh to the change okay or to the time that you need to step away and have a clear mind remember here in your past in your recent past that was present here but remember this four of cups he's not looking in this direction where all these blessings were coming he's very distracted on what i always call this card uh crying over spilled milk he's he's distracted about his own emotions he's in his feelings and he can't see himself or he can't see the universe extending all these blessings that are coming his way and one of these blessings is clear thought right a breakthrough of clarity here um so i feel here that in one way to shift this energy scorpio is to be bold and make the first move it's like to get out of this uh situation you need to to be bold enough to step back okay make that move step back create an assertive stance on your own emotional healing on your own mental healing on your own uh, uh spiritual healing okay so it's more of taking a step back to heal and at the same time to create distance between you and whatever it is that you are thinking a lot about whether that be in love career finance so that you can have this breakthrough of clarity at the present moment in time Let's see what other messages are going to come out for you here for Scorpio. You have the Ace of Wands here. So there is a new beginning here that is promising. There's an energy of um, the fire in your belly. Okay. It's this feeling of motivation, inspiration. So there is something here that you do feel a sense of passion and a sense of motivation okay so this increased vitality is what i'm hearing okay the stamina this this is yang energy so there's something here that you need to be proactive about okay so this card and this card are these two cards here okay make a bold move okay and this ace of wands may be pushing you or may be suggesting here for you scorpio that to allow your passion to do the drive rather than your thoughts okay because your thoughts it's in a way is what's creating this burnt out sensation or this burnt out energy here now you have the ace of wands here at the present time along with the uh, seven of pentacles and this is all about a new beginning of investment a new beginning for you to be able to invest in something that you find valuable so there may be here for some of you this uh, push and pull here of what your mind is telling you versus what your intuitive passion is guiding you to okay I also see here the seven of swords so there may you may be in this energy of deceiving yourself it's like you're doing something because your mind you you think logically that this is the way to go but it's like your gut level feeling your passion your intuition is guiding you in a different direction here okay and it's like you're you need to step back and be honest with yourself at the end of the day what is it truly that your higher self is telling you what is it truly that you feel instinctively or in in your intuition what is that passion calling you towards here so wherever this may be whether it's in love career or finance there is this sense of you need to be honest with yourself and that honesty okay has to do with what is it what is that fire in your belly what is it that you really want to invest in right now at this moment in time scorpio and it's not about what you're thinking but rather what is it that you're feeling intuitively what's calling you in a specific direction whether it be in love 
uh, career or finances okay let's take a look here at what is your upcoming energy what energy is coming in for scorpio here All right, so what's coming up, uh, up for you here, Scorpio? You have the six of moving on upright. You have love begins in reverse. You also have the five of obstacles in, in uh, upright, as well as spiritual uh, strength upright, and the four of foundation and achievement upright. So I feel here, Scorpio, this energy that is coming in for you is all about moving on there's this energy that's coming in here where you're going to need to make adjustments you're going to need to take a look a hard look okay an honest look at moving past your obstacles and challenges okay and giving yourself the self-love that you need in order for you to create this foundation of four of wands this stability that you're looking for and i feel here that one way that you're going to be able or one way that this moving away from um from these challenges is going to be easier is by focusing on your spiritual strength okay that in a way is what's going to hold you up or is going to not allow all these obstacles and challenges to crush you okay because you see there is a statue here with the with his two hands up here trying to hold things away from this man right so i feel here that by moving on from this sense of um obstacles and challenges that may be um still re, re, you know just present here it may be residual okay so it may be still coming from this present situation and it may be this residual energy here in the upcoming future or near future but whatever the case is here for you scorpio it's talking about that you need to move on from this energy some of you may be in separation if you are looking at this from a love perspective or if this is a love reading for you some of you are having um, either separation or you're having obstacles and challenges in regards to love others of you may be seeing this with your job okay so if this is a career reading for you it's saying that you you may be having um, either issues or miscommunication or just not seeing eye to eye with people that you are either working with okay whether it's your staff colleagues uh supervisors uh and things of that nature and if you're the boss then maybe it's just uh you are having difficulties connecting with either your staff your employees okay or your partners okay or even clients here okay so there is a sense of foundation and achievement coming in for you but it all stems from you taking a step back um, and saying to yourself i need to move on and then i need to hang on to my spiritual uh, my spirituality or my faith or um, whatever it is that gives you that extra uh, strength to be able to endure and leave those things behind that no longer serve you okay all right so take a time to breathe out all right so here it's telling you this energy that's coming in for you you're gonna have to take a break you're gonna have to take a step back it says disseminating moon you're gonna have to take a moment to regroup here in your upcoming energy so that you're able to then take that last deep breath and just cut those cords and those situations or those partnerships or those uh, uh whether it's a person place or thing cut that and leave that behind release that emotional baggage release that mental baggage so that you can continue forward okay it's pretty much telling you here scorpio it says have faith in your dreams okay waxing crescent moon and i feel here that once you're able to make that move forward okay once you're able to cut 
and to leave behind and to release those uh, mental and emotional baggages, then you're going to be able to, um, to see this foundation take shape, to see this type of stability that you may want or that you may be thinking about, okay? Or that you yourself may be creating. Because I feel here with, these, with this family, it's like they're longing for that stability. They're looking at that house, right? It's like this is what they want. And all this, Scorpio, is going to come to you after a period of hardship because we do see here the rainbow across and the rainbow comes up comes out after uh, after the rain okay so after your whether it's internal or external conflicts this stability and this harmony uh or harmonious energy is coming into your energetic fields all right so scorpio let's take a look here at what is your advice here in this uh reading what is uh advice for scorpio advice for scorpio okay scorpio you have the knight of wands i make decisions without pressure so what is your advice to be able to again it's like it's interesting because here i'm seeing this knight of wands with fast movement it's like leave it's like quickly leaving <laughs> leaving a situation that no longer serves you okay and making those decisions without feeling a sense of pressure okay and that makes sense because it's saying here take a time to breathe out so whatever decisions that you need to make in order to leave what no longer serves you behind is going to you're going to have to do it from a place of clear thinking of taking the time to really assess the situation and then move forward so this makes a lot of sense here the card behind the knight of wands or the other advice here for you uh scorpio is um i protect what matters to me at the end of the day yet you, you need to protect what matters to you okay so in a way i'm feeling here it's like you have to put yourself first in this situation scorpio and you might be um it's interesting as I'm seeing like like this like no it's it's hard it's hard for me to put myself first I put other people first I put other people's needs ahead of mine but here it's talking about protecting what matters to you and in this situation looking at this reading it looks like you need to put yourself first okay so that you are in a place of being able to then help others okay so you cannot give from an empty cup right so scorpio i hope this message was insightful for you i loved channeling these messages for you i hope that they were insightful if you haven't uh subscribed to my channel just uh, hit the subscription box or the circle that will be right here and i hope to see you soon Bye bye